Hi, we are the Diabetes Nurse Service at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow. I'm Amanda and I'm a Diabetes Specialist Nurse. Today this video will provide education on blood glucose and ketone monitoring with the CareSense dual meter. This meter is generally used for patients with type 1 diabetes or those who are prone to ketosis. Due to your diabetes, a decision has been made by the Diabetes MDT that you should monitor your blood glucose levels at home. This will allow you and the diabetes team supporting you to make decisions on your treatment. Each person has individual blood glucose targets and will require to monitor glucose levels at differing times in the day. These targets and the amount of glucose tests will be clearly explained to you before you leave hospital. Please ask the team if you are unsure. Your CareSense meter will have been delivered to you in the ward. Please take the pouch from the box to familiarise yourself with the equipment inside. Once you're home, you'll be required to order blood glucose test strips, lancets and ketone strips on your peak prescription. Before you leave hospital, the diabetes team will be in contact with your GP with the new items to be added to your prescription. Please unzip the pouch and remove the blood glucose meter, finger prick device, lancets, blood glucose test strips and ketone strips. This is the meter. The front has a display screen and if you turn the meter to the back, you can see the battery compartment. If you open this, you will see the meter contains two flat batteries. These will last roughly up to one year and then can be replaced with the same size batteries from a pound store or the supermarket. Please turn the meter to the front. At the bottom of the meter, you will see a small space where the blood glucose test strip is inserted. When the test strip is inserted, this automatically turns the meter on. Set the meter to one side and pick up the tub of glucose test strips. You will see that the glucose test strips have a use by date on the side of the tub. If they are out of date, please do not use them. Take out the test strip and close the tub securely. Test strips are stored in the tub as moisture in the air can affect your accuracy. Always close the lid after you have removed the test strip. You will see some black lines at one end of the strip. This is the end that's inserted into the meter. At the other end, there is a small blood droplet symbol. This is where the blood should be placed for a reading. Now set the test strip to one side and take out the finger prick device and the lancets. Lancets should be changed once per day as they are fine needles which become blunt very easily, which can make it harder to draw blood out of the finger. They should also be changed every day to reduce the risk of infection. I will now demonstrate how to change the lancet. Firstly, unscrew the lid of the finger prick device. Now place the long slim side of the lancet into the finger prick device. Turn the circular end of the lancet until it loosens and then pull it off. Check that the needle is not bent. Place the cap of the finger prick device back onto the body of the device. Check that the needle depth is set to 3. Next pull the grey end of the finger prick device to load the spring inside. Lastly, check that the release button on the side has changed to orange. Now the important task of hand washing. Please wash your hands with warm water only, as soap and gels contain sugar, which can affect the accuracy of your result. Washing your hands with warm water will also help bring blood to the surface, making it easier to carry out the test. I will now demonstrate how to carry out a blood glucose test. Place the blood glucose strip into the meter, this will switch the meter on. Place your lancet device to the side of the chosen finger and push the grey button. Squeeze your finger to produce a blood drop. Place the test strip to the side of the blood drop and allow the strip to absorb the sample. The meter will bleep to make you aware that you have an adequate sample. The meter will count down and the result will appear on the screen. Ketone testing should be carried out if blood glucose levels are above 14 millimoles for over 4 hours. 
Your diabetes team will provide further education on this. To carry out a blood ketone test, you're required to use the blood ketone strips, which look like this. I will now demonstrate a blood ketone test. Place the strip into the meter. This will switch the meter on. Place your lancet device to the side of the chosen finger and push the grey button. Squeeze your finger to produce a blood drop. Place the test strip to the side of the blood drop and allow the strip to absorb the sample. The meter will bleep to make you aware that you have an adequate sample. The meter will count down and the result will appear on the screen.